Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Great trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. Answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Ah, oh, my little wash. Uh, time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now, at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry. Same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. <laughs> Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV. He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> there they are! He's going to be full of himself. And today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe. Two, Dr. Watson. Three, Dr. Groove. Next question, which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Maidum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on! The score is going through the roof! We have a winner! <laughs> this is incredible! Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record! <laughs> wow! I have to admit, we did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the Grand Quiz Master Champion of all time! Mr. Pullface, who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right. The grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final, Mr. Pofe says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that silly hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. 
Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens, this here is no wonder dog, it is a fox! Oh, no! You gotta stop being so intelligent, Wash! Huh? Great idea! Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me. What do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves lit with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So, Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. <clears throat> How they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. Uh, what do you see here? Uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower! A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Hooray! Hooray! Wash is an imbecile! Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Poface. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. Uh, I mean, your worst shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Uh, hmm? Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volupus Volupus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? Uh, 29, 30, 31... Uh, 34! Uh, 32! Washington, that is incredible! Uh, time to drop the act. Stop this masquerade. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see well, this. Well, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? 
this animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the result of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poolface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own, and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> You know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too, even if you are lame. <sighs> Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three. <gasps> hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Susie chirped three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> A shark! A shark? Where, where? Where, where? You don't see anything. Oh, well, that was just to get you out. <coughs> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Uh, or rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! <laughs> uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Mm. 
luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! <laughs> flies, perhaps, but flies who love me! <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies! Guys, let's go outside. It's far too noisy in here. Nest. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. Brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to. <laughs> well, well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah. yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> Darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. <laughs> well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> Yo, if only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. 
Hey, how about that? My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> Mitch? Hi. Didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here. Uh. Help me, my beloved flies. That bear wants to separate us. There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Come on, bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. Nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Ah! Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the animal pounder at the beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, well, he's probably wild too. And dangerous. <gasps> Realize they were nothing but a bunch of wild animals. They're goners. You, yes, but me, no. I could 
can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun. <laughs> We're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with the pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside when the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <clears throat> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> Too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. And your genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! Hmm? An enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose. An alpha boar. There was nothing I could do. Yep, survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. All right. <laughs> and it's a go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's not how it happened. You, <sighs> you had me scared. For a moment, I thought that. Yeah, well, okay. Mm -hmm. I admit, I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape... That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey, everything okay, Vic? We may have laid it on a bit heavy there. In the forest. Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> Phew. Hey! <laughs> in here! Thanks! If 
it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed. Those humans are all crazy. Let's cut down the last one and we're off. Oh, over here. And he's my brother, Sam. And he's, um, he's... Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Uh, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? He is too cute. Wow, that funny looking animal lives peacefully with humans. I'll go ask him. Hey, little bunny beetle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Susie! <laughs> Come on, Vic Honey. Nap time's over. Metal monsters everywhere! Susie, you okay? Well, yeah, but I wasn't able to do anything. The metal monster caught me before I could talk to the bunny beaver. Who are these blockheads? Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> Yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! Nah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T. And the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital. My favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Vic, we're going home! Wait a sec! Take us with you! We want the same life! <laughs> That's the best one yet! It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're gonna try our luck! <laughs> They really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Smoothie time! Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie! smoothie. <laughs> ha! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door! And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape. The two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? No, can't see any reason to panic. How about in that bag, Dan? Sure there's nothing to eat? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that if I were you. It smells so bad, you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah. Back then, we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven. Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm, I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic, and then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun. This cave is enormous! Wow, do you smell that? I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing. Feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, mm -hmm. come check it out. There's tons more to eat. Woohoo! Down we go! I'm warning you. If at the count of three you're not out of here, things are going to... <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> there. And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear. Promise. What's this? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Movie's right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> You promised me you'd leave! So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But... but your word is worthless, then! You're nothing but a bunch of savages! Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get luster back into your fur! Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles! Huh? <gasps> Ah! Wild animals! Hello, hello, is this the animal pound? There are four of them, with bangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. City hunters, run for your life! in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. Yeah, but they're all city animals. And we're wild animals. And they'll always think we're wild. There's nothing left to do but go back to the forest. Hey, look. A fox killed.
cub. That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> can you believe it? He didn't even know it was a costume. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> Cub! Psst. Don't be so discreet. Go for it. Oh! It's not even real. It's fake fur. Check it out. Fake fur? Hey, that's exactly what we need to pass ourselves off as city animals. Look, there's tons of them in that cave over there. Let's grab some. You see, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume. Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double! Oh! Wild animals! That cave is packed with humans. Look! Over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Nah, we can do better. Oh, aren't they cute? Hey, are you lost, little guys? Where are your owners? It appears that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the Living Stones. You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Purry. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say what? what? I never told you this, but... Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look, even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You, Vic, we're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. Hey, what's going on? She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? Hmm. You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. Oh. <laughs> 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 Boy, am I ever stuffing. Hey, we hijacked an animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that. Dinner is served. <laughs> The police! Hey! Huh? Ah! Our costumes! It's not 
the police hits the living stones. We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar. It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah, but red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the living stones will never take us back. Uh -huh. What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Oh. An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. <laughs> oh! And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. <laughs> the TV! You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. It's <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam. Just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> Huh? What do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket. Because this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. <clears throat> Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50 50. <laughs> nah, we never share with losers. <laughs> Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers, hmm, let's see, how should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes, well, you're losers, and they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! They're hipsters! The coolest guys in the world! Have you ever heard of zipsters? But they do weird things, no? And why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become Zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> and that's going to change. Once we become Zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, Zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this Zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? Zipster, Sam. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should check the guide to being a perfect Zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's getting into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that 
We've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girl said, zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We've got to impose, Sam. Ah! Sorry, girls, but we want to watch something else. Zipster. <laughs> you mind it? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, have you gone totally wacko? Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't get it. I thought they just loved zipsters. They think we're fake zipsters. No, oh, it's because they know our beards are fake. If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food. Of course. Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards. And this time, we're gonna follow the guide to being a perfect zipster. You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Hmm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> Who are those two bozos? <laughs> You're the one who has to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> You know those guys? Hmm. Wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! Sam and Wash don't have beards! They stole our place! Get us back our toys, you mean thieves! What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam. We're zipsters. We impose ourselves, period. <laughs> ah! <laughs> It's sure not easy being a zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. Oh, stop! <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyway? It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? <laughs> there? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> <laughs> and don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs. <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? Uh, cool stuff. Way better, Sam. A future without our costumes. Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide. <laughs> reached a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. Mm -hmm. How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? Oh, yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? Zipsters, dude. Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We 
you're doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fang. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <clears throat> hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts! Let me alive! And to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves. The wild ones! <laughs> <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? <laughs> That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My lettuce smoothie! Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea! <laughs> <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster! Like that lettuce smoothie? Blah. What in the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo from my Instagram account. <coughs> oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. <coughs> yeah. Phew, that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstery for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet. Everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is a device especially designed to gaze at the stars. There are stars on the box. Loads of them. Look. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Shoot, an acorn with zero flavor. <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. <laughs> Oh, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? <laughs> Gosh, you're not going to 
going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday! I completely forgot! Don't you realize? No! Yeah. Not those two imbeciles again! I absolutely have to go see her! Hey! She'll be so disappointed! I only want to give her a big hug! Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry! I refuse to let you go alone! I'm your best- You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest. Really? Uh, okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Wash, someone's following us. Nah, uh what are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever you're... Behind the bush! It's Mitch, I know it is. Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> What are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, 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 we came looking for uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We can help you, sir. Huh? The quicker we find catnip, huh? the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quick. My parents' lair is this way. Those two clinging gate crashers obviously must not catch up with us. <laughs> Don't we know each other? Hmm? Recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here. What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, yeah. Never seen him before. We were just looking for somewhere to go, wee wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, <laughs> I recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> You? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so uh, what does that prove? Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're going to love it. See you later. What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well... Wait, action! <laughs> wild animals! There are wild animals around here! So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. They're like really wild. Ferocious! Mm -hmm. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Great! We gotta hide! What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals! Come on! We're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace. Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there. <laughs> Where are your manners, young man? Is that how you welcome town folk round these parts? <laughs> I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo, aw. Washeroo, as in Washington? A little bird told me you and Sam have been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad. His name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. 
Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? So oh, little washeroo. Still happy with life in town? Well. There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake, and there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news, but let's not forget it's Mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingston. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two la di da house cats? You yeah, know what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Uh, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. <laughs> but it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. You see? Proof you got it wrong. Wash had a date with the girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs> you went to the Livingstone's house? Uh-huh, and we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. And to think we didn't even get any acorn pie. We're the town folk, us. But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But it isn't even catnip. Come on. Anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with a girl. We're back. <laughs> Everything go OK? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention your two Joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for <laughs> good ideas? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. go to Bee Bot Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! Today! <laughs> <laughs> There. What's that? Hmm. Da! It's a bunny mobile! A self driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state of the art self driving car? Yeah, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry. If I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-9899-8819991. Seven two five three in case of emergency. Destination: Bebop Bunny. Bunny. Yay! Bush, stop the car! No, we're gonna get caught! Oh, come on, Sam! Don't worry. The windows are tinted, so there's no risk. Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Yeah. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree. You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. If you want to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Yeah! Wash, this is too awesome! Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving! But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls. I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash! The Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash! Hurry up! Please! 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 Okay, okay. Everything's under control. Don't panic. 
Situation's under control. Ah! Ah! Oh, we have to turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound. Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, OK? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. The <laughs> pound! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic remote no. control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. The Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened. Come and get your fill of bunny thrills. Shall we go? It looks awesome. Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Oh, Speed up. They're right behind us. Gone. We're safe. Oh, wash, you can slow down. They're gone. I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like uh, stuck. <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. <laughs> Number. I think now's the time! Oh, yeah, good idea! But, uh, what was the number again? Uh, you have to 999881999. Is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? Oh, but the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling in again? Drop it! Everything's cool, I ditched them. Oh. Oh no, I just realized. How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please mm. re Did you just touch something? Charge <laughs> battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you 
serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. It's a genie. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Living Stones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes, and we knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey! How did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out! Big Bop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner! <laughs> wow! That works! Awesome! Thank you, girls! <laughs> You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm going to miss you so much. Honey, we're only going on vacation for a few days, you know. But we were supposed to all go together, mister. I forgot if animals were permitted at the yoga retreat. But I've stocked up on kibble, and they have the yard to stretch and run around in. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. See you later, alligators. <laughs> and have a great vacation. What's a vacation? Think about it, Sam. If they're supposed to be great, then it's surely something to eat. Like candy they've hidden around the house. Yay! Vacations! Where do they hide the vacations? <sighs> Boy, you guys are dumb. <laughs> this is a vacation. Whoa! Check it out! Humans without their costumes on! Wash, do you think we could have a vacation too? Do they exist for animals too? Uh, yes and no. Vacations are first and foremost meant for humans who work all year long. It's their rest period, if you like. And since us cats, we spend pretty much our whole lives resting, it's kind of like we're on a permanent vacation. Speaking of which, <sighs> it's time for my nap. Ready? <laughs> A nap without them around, the ideal vacation. Get it, get it, get it! This, Eugenie, is the result of years of hard work 24-7. And sometimes, you know, I just get so tired. Hey, what if we went on vacation? Yeah. Didn't Vic just say that cats were always on vacation? Real cats, perhaps, but not you, Sam, nor me, nor any of us. We work just like humans by disguising ourselves and meowing and barking. We work hard as actors every single day. Of course, Wash is right. Yeah, we deserve vacations too. <laughs>
home. Oh, yeah? And why not? Because you're nothing but a gang of wild savages! <gasps> uh, sorry. It's really because in order to take a real vacation, you have to leave home. Look. Without our costumes? Way too dangerous. Right, so whose turn is it on the ironing board? Nah, I'm staying put. It looks like too much work. Sam's right. We're on a real vacation, away from here. <laughs> oh. Look, Wash, it's vacation time. Everybody has left. The neighborhood is empty. All right. OK, we'll go. <laughs> TV all to myself. Since the actor Juan Carlos has gone on vacation, your favorite soap, Sentimental Hospital, will not be broadcast this week. What? No! <sighs> ah, walking around without any clothes. Awesome! What a great idea taking a vacation. By the way, where are we going? We've got to find a super place, a dream vacation, paradise on Earth. I've got an idea! Uh, yeah, right. Not enough sand. Not enough water. Ah, no way! Reminds me too much of the forest. my wildest dreams. All that's missing is the roast chicken. Ta-da! Ha-ha! <laughs> Good move, Sam. of savages. Yuck. Boy, talk about a dream vacation. Hey, this is our vacation spot. So get lost, you bunch of hicks. Hey, chill, guys. There's room here for all of us. We can get along like civilized animals, can't we? You? Civilized animals? Bunch of savages, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. This hey? is a vacation spot for city animals. So if you want a place to relax and vacation, mm -hmm. find something in your stinking forest. Go oh. on, get lost. <laughs> Who do they think they are? We live in this city, too. And we were even here before them. Yes, so they're the ones who have to leave. Are you kidding? We're not gonna get chased out by a bunch of silly raccoons. I didn't want to resort to this, but since they're treating us like a bunch of savages, we're gonna show them what real savages are really like. <laughs> this place is ours, so get out! <laughs> Have you guys looked in a mirror? Oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> 
No, I just don't understand. Usually when we do that, it scares everyone to death. Maybe after having imitated household pets for so long, we've totally lost our touch with our wildness. Yeah, don't get lost! <laughs> Otherwise, I'm really gonna lose my cool. Go back to your dunghill, you bunch of hicks. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of the forest. <laughs> Bingo! I just remembered what it was like to be a real savage. Stones is almost like a vacation, actually. I got a bit carried away. No hard feelings? Hurry up, Sam! Those guys are completely wacko. Bunch of savages! <laughs> hey, sweetie pies! Where are you? Too late! We're goners! <laughs> you now. The next time, you're on your own. Hurry up, they're coming oh. out! Ah, oh, there you are. You don't know how much I've missed you, my darlings. I couldn't really go on vacation without you guys. So we're all going to the beach together. <gasps> I just have to finish loading the car. Thanks, Vic. But, uh, say, is it like because you missed us so much that you saved us? Huh? Say what? What? Me? No way, are you nuts? Really? Oh, that's so cute. Hug! Ah, I don't do hugs! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you. Nonsense! It's 
a toy made especially for cats and only cats. That is such a lie. Wild boars love acorns, and I'm a wild boar and a cat. I'm a boy cat, and that means I love it twice as much as you. I even had one in the forest. Okay, sis. I've been through worse. I can handle it. Oh, look! Fine kibble! There! There, there! <laughs> yeah! Come on, Sam, forget it. It's nothing but a stupid toy for cats. Cats and four cats? I don't like this. Hey! <laughs> hey, Nick! You know your favorite show is on TV. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Wash. I'll watch it when I get my toy back. Yeah! And the game is called That Toy Is Mine! Hmm. <laughs> 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 what do you think of my quick setting cement litter bit? <laughs> Driving them both nuts. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. Good thing everybody is all snug and warm inside. Uh. <laughs> Victoria! Oh, my poor little Vic! Meow. You spent the whole night outside? Meow. 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 This time you went too far, Sam! just to spend the night with my toy. That was dumb. Shall we make up? Okay, Sam. You win. It's all yours. You! <laughs> <laughs> but if you were a real cat, you would know that real cats never give up. <laughs> uh, you okay, Nick? <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> Sweet dreams, boy cat. Sweet revenge. <laughs> Sam! Hey! Where are you? Sam hasn't come back in for his snack. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Sam! What are you doing there? I'm hiding! I can't leave the room! Hiding? But hiding from what? Where's your disguise? It disappeared! Help! Hmm. But we can still see her behind. <laughs> That's what happens when you cross me. I'll give Sam back his costume, but under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn forever. Do whatever you want, Vic, but hurry up! Follow me. <laughs> the costume is under there. <laughs> no, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the teeth. Oh, we've turned the whole house upside down and still no costume. All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Do you mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, whatever you do, stay here. It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the line. Take care of you, Jeannie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. Ah! I'm the guilty one. I saw Vic hide his costume under the sofa and I took it. Because all Sam could think of was his acorn and he no longer wanted to play with us. I really messed up. <laughs> what? What did you do? It's all my fault. Yeah, I should have never played so much with that stupid acorn. <laughs> Sam, we've come to save you. Oh, no, the living stones. There's no choice. I have to unzip. Uh. Ah! Uh. There's a box in the house. I don't know. That's incredible! Our darling little furballs chased away that terribly dangerous fox! Did you hear that, Sam? I'm terribly dangerous! <laughs> <laughs> Since you were all so brave, we have a little surprise for you. Voila! Oh, no! Enough toys for today! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hello, 
everybody, it's time for Singing in the Shower, the show that gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. Would it drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good dog. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Livingstones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. <laughs> what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is cold. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it, and don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away, and every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Levingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance?
and uh, a canary? <laughs> no, that's a lion. <laughs> I can't believe it, Wash. Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play. Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that. And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in. Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke. That song was pre-recorded. Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. <laughs> oh, cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary, but... What in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugene, uh -huh. quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird, or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. It's our only chance! Susie's not a real canary? What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin! Can you believe that? Uh -huh. I 
don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Jeannie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dive. Mm -hmm. We're chasing this car. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the Stop! Don't change channels! Food. Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey, how about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm going to need your help. Yeah. <sighs> Nobody's interested in my game. You, did it. You're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, wanna play in our documentary? Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk-on huh? parts. <sighs> Everybody in position! And action! <laughs> Vic, out of the way! You're hogging the mm -hmm. shot! So what? <laughs> Cut! That's great! Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can! Do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy, is it? <laughs> wow! Eugenie, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours! Hey! You're not going to take your costume off, are you? Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? 
Uh, hear that, honey? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey! He's still a wild animal! No, look! He's totally harmless! You see? How about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. So, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm gonna take it off, too. Yeah, no, don't! Why not? <laughs> I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie? We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I shall redeem the good name of wild boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. Yeah. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! Wash! Looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're gonna make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying disc to get buddy buddy. <laughs> Right, we'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and... okay, I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! Ooh. <laughs> Shoot, what was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Catch! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Woo, it's me! Vic? You okay, Vic? Vic, talk to me, Vic! Oh, Who do you think you are, Acorn Brain? Don't try to get chummy with me. But I thought that... I was acting, you pea brain. Pure cinema. But if that's the way it is, do it yourself. Yeah. Where's the little fox? Little fox? Little fox! Oh, there you are. You'll be famous. It's going to be amazing. A documentary about wild boars. All you have to do is pretend to... You... Yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Our little fox's first breakfast. How sweet. I know. How cute would it be to adopt him a little friend? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no! Hello, animal pal? Sam, why did you do that? I wanted to get taken in and tamed like you. I want to be able to live the real me too. You'll have all the time in the world to do that at the pound. They just arrived. 
Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. Okay, but what about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> 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 You can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh, no! Our poor little fox! And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash? Washington! Wash! Yeah! Don't sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting them out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. You have the suits? Huh? Yeah. Come on, start now, will you? <laughs> Oh, you see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound! Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, yeah. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Oh. You were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't it stop channels! be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pet. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just ask it! No! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Fave toy, we're rocking. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys. Good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in disguise. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! Yeah! Cats just love that stuff. <laughs> Give me that right now, you stuffing warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he knows. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just
Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look! You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat, that, in that. That's not cat, in that. Meow! That's not cat, I am a real cat. That's it, we're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion, what a... Oh, I love this series. <laughs> Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boy. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. Hmm? What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. Kitty kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat. You're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest. <laughs> What kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, take them for yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. No. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. <laughs> hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? <laughs> Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? Oh, you nugget? Mm. Unless... Hey, Sam, check it out. Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously? Cool! Thanks, Victoria! Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move, I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become inseparable. <gasps> of course! That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? <laughs> Okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Hmm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy? Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside. Take your time. And then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar. Sam, mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You gotta come home right this second. Pause off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember, you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that. They're killing me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way, he's just too weird. He says we're all wild, that we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From yeah. where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. 
My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not, not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! All right, I'll help you. <laughs> hey! Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick for the sewer dive, Is this a joke the or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. And so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Ha! A sin! Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah? Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I'm gonna go tell the girls right now! Oh no, my costume! We've gotta stop him! Ah! Doggy! Oh, the way a doggy took off his job fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd it go? Quick! I've gotta go see the human! Meow! Meow! Hey, Sam, what's going on with you? Meow! Meow! This time we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. No, we've still got a chance! Meow! Wash is back. Okay. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. Here I am, girls. Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah? boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. <laughs> Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Guys, 
Want to play with the flying disc? Fresh air would do you a world of good. You've been sitting in front of the TV for hours. Unless you... Aw, oh, Sam, I knew I could count on you, dude. Can you move over a little? You're blocking the screen. Huh? Oh. I bet there's a way I can play with the flying disc by myself. You just have to be sly. Like a fox, in fact. I can't play by myself, can I? Come on, guys! Sports are essential for your health! A dog's need for exercise varies from one race to another. For example, certain hunting dogs are true sprinters, just like foxes. Because, of course, these two animals are members of the same family, the canine family. Although our domestic dogs... <gasps> Did no you hear that? Wild, I'm a cousin to dogs! That explains why I need to go outside and run all the time! In fact, our family is quite athletic. Speaking of outside, how about going there right now? I still haven't completed my 14-hour sleep cycle. Hmm? <laughs> Okay, I get it. If that's the way it is, I'm going outside to play by myself. <gasps> Good idea! We can watch TV and pee! <laughs> you guys deserve each other. The bunch of you. I'm beginning to think that my dog cousins are the only ones who truly understand me. Excellent! Go on outside and play with your cousin! All right then! Fine! I am going outside to play with my cousin! Who's he going to play with? His cousin. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hi there, Alvarez. How you doing? It's been such a long time since we've seen each other. You're sure mm -hmm. looking good today. Are you making fun of me? Not in the least. I just wanted to spend some time with you because I just realized that we've got loads of things in common. Right, cousin? We may be cousins, but my tongue doesn't hang out like yours. Hey, uh, how about we play a game of flying disc together? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I've had more than my share of exercise this morning. Oh, I see. A little later, maybe? But anyway, is there anything you need? You know, you can ask me for anything you like. Anything? I can ask you for anything? <laughs> Between dogs and foxes. Uh, uh, I mean, dog and dog, you know. Like, do a cartwheel? Yeah, uh, cartwheel. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Anything else? And what about a worm? I hop on your tail. <laughs> okay, Wash. You and I are going to spend a little time together. Wash? Yoo-hoo! Where are you? In fact, we want to play with the flying disc with you after all. <clears throat> so, after this, cousin, how about we play that game of flying disc? <clears throat> Shush! Massage is about relaxation. Ah, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. I'm often told that I talk too much. That's something I don't actually notice, you know, given that I never stop talking. <laughs> Why is she giving Alvarez a massage? He calls him cousin. He looks really happy just being with him. All this is because we didn't want to play with the flying desk. Why is Wash calling Alvarez cousin? I'd be extremely worried if I were you. Alvarez is a manipulator, and he's going to take advantage of Washington's generosity. This is going to go very wrong in the end. Ah, it's a catastrophe! Wash is abandoning us! <laughs> what do we do, Sam? What do we do? Uh, we ask Wash. He's the one who thinks of plans. Channels. No, we take a nap. You'll do everything you can to get Wash out of Alvarez's clutches. <laughs> That's it. Exactly what I wanted to say. So now I'll leave you to it. Uh, I have several naps to catch up on. 
<laughs> Flush, there you are. <laughs> Cousin Alvy needed to go indoors to cool off, so I suggested he come here to the house. Afterwards, we're gonna play with the flying disc, right, cuz? <sighs> and so, you guys are all done with your TV marathon? Yeah, and we wanted to get you out of Alvarez's clutch. Uh, to get outside and play with the flying disc. Yuck. Don't tell me you actually eat this revolting discount kibble. Ugh. Well, what? He's an aristocratic dog. He's used to luxury. <laughs> Yeah, too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Not bad. Yeah. It's rather hot in here, isn't it? Could you give me some air? <laughs> Faster. Not so fast. <laughs> You wish you we need to talk. I haven't got time. Cousin Alvarez is waiting outside to play flying disc with me. You've got to get rid of him. He's just using you. No, he's not. Alvarez is really sweet. That's just because you don't know him very well. And anyway, he's my cousin. Family is special. But we're your family. Ta! You guys, you're my friends, but he's family, and he's always willing to play flying disc with me. <laughs> Whoosh! I haven't got all afternoon for this game. Aha! <laughs> See, just like I told you, he's a magnificent flying disc player. He's hopeless. Even Sam plays better. Affirmative. <laughs> Whoosh! I'm coming, Alvy! <laughs> Looks like Alvarez has made a real lapdog out of you. Pooey, you're just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted you to realize that we're the ones who are your real friends. Alvarez is my cousin. I know I can trust him. And I'm going to prove that by telling him I'm actually a fox. Wait and see. He'll accept me for what I am. What are we Okay, no TV, no naps. Give me a couple of seconds, I'm thinking. You stop Wash from revealing his secret to Alvarez. Exactly! I'm on it! Alvarez, uh, there's something I have to tell you. The truth is, I'm actually, uh... <laughs> Go fetch! Oh. <laughs> Alvarez, Alvarez! What I was trying to tell you... Look! <laughs> we'll just see who has the last word on this! Wash? You okay, Wash? How about watching a movie? Yeah, why not? You guys were right about Alvarez. Yeah! Oh, Finally, you did it! Wash, I really need a massage. Oh, no! It's Alvarez! What am I gonna tell him? Hey, how about we hide? That way, if he doesn't find us, he'll just leave. Yeah! Wash is back to his old self! Good idea! Let's hurry! He's almost here! <laughs> Woohoo! Wash? Aha! Here you are, Alvarez! Great timing! I was waiting for you. Oh, no! He tricked us! Now he's going to tell Alvarez everything! Then we'll have to return to the forest again, to the cold and the rain! Goodbye, <laughs> TV! <laughs> so listen, I'm actually, uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, what? This could be our last chance to listen to TV. It's true that dogs and foxes are very close species. One can see this in their similar physical traits. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Foxes have nothing to do with dogs. We are far, far more advanced than those inferior wild animals. What? 
What do you mean, inferior? A fox's vision and sense of smell is far more developed than that of a dog. Excuse me? <laughs> zero hygiene, zero poise, zero class. Foxes are the very last species on the planet I deign to frequent. I'd rather befriend a pigeon. At least they know how to hold their heads up when they walk. What? So, what was it you wanted to tell me? What I wanted to say was... Go fetch, Doggy Woggy! <laughs> Who wants to play with the flying disc? I can think of an activity that everyone here would like. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Gracie Appleseed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure that was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans, maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. Ah. <laughs> you know what? Catch me! You know what? Catch me! It wasn't kibble. I didn't think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamstera stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Whoa! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> 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 it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on! We'll do a test on Fat Cat! Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam! Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 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 
<laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving! Absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error. Unknown Maybe species. it's some species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Oh, I'm not a unicorn. Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Unknown species. Yeah. Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is the mm. chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians. So oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name. The Vladimirius quadrupedus rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. Sam's <laughs> been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Not if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Is that dog on crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! 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 Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad. We did it! He stopped! Yes, 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 yes. Yes. It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not that <laughs> way. Huh? He looks kind of angry. Do you hear the noises he's making? Unknown animal no. sound. Hmm? Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive roar. 
Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Victoria! Victoria! Do you know if Wash's unbeatable plan worked? Yes. <sighs> Sally! Sally! <laughs> no. I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us, too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. Okay, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat! It's not a cat! Look at the hair test results! Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, Lupus cani, reptili, error, huh? error, error. Uh, 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 whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. My conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? Mrs. Livingstone, thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! Oh! A cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah! 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 Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. 
sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> Hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. <laughs> Countdown. Three. Two, one. <laughs> oh, oh, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah. Precisely. And that's why Donald isn't sneezing. And why his highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. It's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> Some cats have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. <laughs> You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddle! <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you got a big metal scar in your chest! I was operated on for appendicitis, too! Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see! <laughs> no! Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Uh, why not? I like that groove. Because he's going to figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're going to have rain every day. <laughs> Together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog! <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go! <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? Is enough. Come on, let's go play doctor. <laughs> Stop you, mean bad doggy! You're gonna ruin my kid again. <laughs> Washington, stop oh, it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide.
ahead and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Bad dog! Aha! Found you! Bunny, we'll find him. Whew, no one will ever find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. <laughs> the answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Hmm. Hey! I found him! Hmm. Weird. <laughs> You're way lighter than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat. That's not safe. Not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! I'm all wet! Everything's going to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to catch you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, Vic! Hey, your paw! Hurry up! Hey. Uh. 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 What a monster! I want to go home! <laughs> What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry. <sighs> a deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? 